God, come on, just Bible talk, you guys. That's all we're doing here. It's just regular Bible talk. We've done this before. I went home again for Rosh Hashanah. It's part of the 10 days of repentance. Rosh Hashanah to Yom Kippur. It's called the Aser Yom Tshuva. And I went home again, probably seven, eight years ago. And at this point now, I'm way out of the religion, okay? When I was like, I guess 22, 23, I had a crisis of faith. And I realized, well, I realized I didn't believe in God. And that's like a pretty important part of the religion. <laughs> Uh, it was, actually, it was when I was in that yeshiva, in that seminary in Jerusalem. I, um, okay, so I left a light on above my bed, a reading light on above my bed in the dormitories, and um, it was just in my eye on Friday night, on Shabbos night. I couldn't fucking sleep. It was right in my eye. I was getting so fucking frustrated that eventually I was like, fuck this. I'll just, I'll, I'll turn it off. You know, and right when I went to turn it off, I was like, some people walked by my window, and I'm like, fuck, I'll get in trouble. There's no goys to help me, you know, not in Jerusalem. <laughs> so I was like, fuck. And I didn't turn it off, but then I thought about it later. I was like, why would I care if people got me in trouble? You know? I should care about God. And then it hit me. I'm like, oh, I don't believe in God. <laughs> Fuck. So I'm like, I'm out. I'm done. So I left. I had to leave. I had to tell my, I had to tell my Orthodox Jewish Holocaust survivor father that I was out. Yeah, he didn't. He, didn't, he wasn't stoked. I get it from his perspective. You gotta understand. Like, he sent me to Hebrew school for 12 years at like $15,000 a year. You know, Jews don't love wasting money. I don't know if you've heard about us. <laughs> and then yeshiva, seminary in Jerusalem at like 30 grand a year for two more years. And then when I got out, I was like, Dad, I need to talk to you about something important. And he's like, you wanna become a rabbi, don't you? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, quite the opposite. <laughs> I wanna tell dick jokes to drunk people all over America. 